So we've talked a little bit in other um, snippets that we've done today around um, how you make your research visible and why you make your research visible. Um, I suppose that's making your research visible. Are there ways that, in a almost not an impersonal way, but in a um, put it into a repository or do a podcast, mm -hmm. so it's you and somebody else, or you interacting with with technology? Are there ways that you? I suppose reach out to other researchers or make make connections with other researchers. Um, I think maybe mailing lists or social media or, or areas like that. Yeah, so there were I was subscribed to I think four mailing lists in my research capacity, um, and I just get a daily digest. I set apart ten minutes in the afternoon to just go through what's been said in the mailing list today mm. or yesterday. And you still find those useful because I know some people consider them. I know old fashioned or like Twitter and social media are the new things, but you still yeah. find mailing lists useful. I think they serve a slightly different purpose, and you might see. I mean, I find the digest really useful because on Twitter I might miss something. If I get the mailing list digest, I know everything that's been said. I can mm -hmm. scan the titles of the messages. If they're not interesting to me, I can skip them. Yeah. But I can see the ones that are interesting. I think it's really helpful. Not only, I mean, a lot of what we've been talking about is how to make myself visible, but how to see other people. Um, so, for example, a lot of corporate papers for conferences are put out on mailing lists. A lot of job opportunities come through mailing mm -hmm. lists. So true. Um, also, more generally, you can see what other people are working on, which can be really, it can just be interesting to see the state of the field, but if that's something you'd be interested in collaborating on, you can get in touch with that person and say, I find this interesting, can I work with you? So it's another way maybe of uh, building a community or a collegiate environment. You've got a group of people on the mailing list who are all interested in the same thing. Sometimes they'll be more interested in something in one aspect than maybe in other aspects, but it's it's that way of building a community, I suppose, as well. Yeah, and I mean, the mailing list that I'm a part of, people will just have their, I mean, I've mentioned before, the Victoria one is the main one I subscribe to, and people will just put out their questions what will a Victorian handkerchief look like? Something that you wouldn't even think. People will shoot up mm. those questions into the yeah. ether and get responses. So it's a collegiate, but it's also maybe a, I don't know, a safe environment, is it, to, to ask the questions that you wouldn't necessarily want to put onto Twitter or onto a, a wider social media platform as well? Yeah, and you also know that you can ask this group of experts and someone almost certainly is going to know the answer. Yeah. Oh, that's excellent.